Mike Still here for Bison's TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with fourth year jumping specialist Oyenko Akinola. How are well, you doing today, Oyenko? I'm doing really good, how are you? I'm doing really great, thanks awesome. for asking. Uh, well, first and foremost, let's just talk about uh, your career here as a Bison. You came in in 2014 15 and immediately started to sort of establish yourself as a strong performer, you know, with results at Canlis and then really making it to nationals basically every year for the most part. Uh, what's been the key to your continued uh, consistent success here at the Bison? Like you said, you know, cons consistency is what it's been. It's been just working hard and just try to keep the same program every year and just trying to improve on it. Um, nothing really crazy to say, like nothing special that I've been doing, just, just trying to stay healthy and being active and so it was, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about, I mean you have overcome adversity as well, so let's talk a bit about that. Uh, you are academically ineligible two seasons ago, uh, but you bounced back from it. Uh, how were you able to just sort of maintain that? You were always with the team, so you were training with them, you were still competing. You know, how were you able to keep that mindset knowing that, you know, you weren't officially part of the team, but you were still a part of the team? Yeah, I just try to stay around and just try to keep myself up because I'm, I mean, I just happened to drop too many classes uh, that one year and it was just, uh, the strike happened, just a lot of things just happened at the same time. So I wasn't really like upset about it. I was just, you know, I just felt like I had to just stay active and come back the next year and help the team. Uh, so I stayed around and just competed with the team as well in different places where we went to. Uh, so just being around the team and being supportive and as well, it just kind of helped me move my spirits along, just, just do it exactly what I did the previous year and the year after, so. I think it's a statement to um, your leadership as well. You were named a captain in that year still and then yeah. you're a captain for the second time this season. Uh, what does leadership mean to you? Uh, to me, leadership just means, you know, just uh, I think being supportive is probably the most important because, uh, you know, with this track and field, it's a really it's a really tough sport since it's, you know, you compete against yourself every time and sometimes, you know, you might, you would not, you're not always going to win. You're not always going to be, be the person the best, you know, always going to have the season's best. Uh, so just trying to make sure everyone understands that, um, you like, like exactly what it is. You compete against yourself and you can, you're the only one that can really have the parameters of your success. Uh, so just trying to remind everyone that and me being a veteran, the sport being around for a long, a long time, I've kind of been up and down and I've experienced a lot of the, um, the good and a lot of the bad as well too. So I just trying to remind everyone that and I think leadership is just being like, you know, just being there for people. That's the most important part, I think. So last season you placed, you medaled at nationals in the yes, high jump. You uh, were you were participating in all three of your jumping events. Um, what aspirations do you have for yourself based on the success you had last season? I mean, um, getting the medal is, again would be great. I think I would love to get more than one medal this year. At U Sports, that will probably be the goal. Um, I am qual I'm going to be competing in all three again this year, um, I think. And, uh, so I think I, I should be able to medal in more than one this year. That would be the goal. That would be the next step up and maybe a gold medal instead of a silver would be great as well. Absolutely, yeah. You're nationally ranked yeah. in all three of your, your events. And so for those that don't know, the three jumping events you participate in are the high jump, the triple jump, and the long jump. Explain to the average viewer that maybe doesn't know what goes into the approach for a triple jump compared to the differences to, say, a long jump. Yeah, so for the triple jump and the long jump, they're pretty similar. Um, so the, the most important part is just trying to con like have a controlled speed throughout the whole thing. So you want to run fast, but you want to, be able to control the speed to go through the phases. Uh, so for long jump, it's uh, some athletes kind of just run and go as fast as they possibly can. It's just one jump and you finish it. Uh, but for triple, you want to be able to carry the speed through every phase. Uh, so you're active off the ground, you carry the speed through, so you can actually um, get further in every single phase. That's uh, usually ideal. Um, so that's uh, just the approach from the back end. You want to just push off for the start, um, can excel in the middle and just maintain that all through the board. And so you want to treat your takeoff as another kind of running step. So running through the board as opposed to just jumping up and forward. Gotcha. And compare that off. to high jump, what uh, differences come into play in high jump? Obviously, just in terms of your form, your approach, and you know, maybe uh, specifically, uh, once you get closer to the actual pole and sort of shortening your stride a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, so um, with triple, high, and long, the principle is, is so, sort of similar. It's sort of the same in things you want to be rhythmic, which means you want to oh. gradually increase speed. Uh, same with high jump, so, so, yeah, you do a triple, you want to start off with a little bit of big strides, accelerate through the middle, and through the last, like, last two steps are usually pretty quick, so you can accelerate and just transfer that horizontal speed into vertical into a vertical height. So um, coming through that I jump, you run, and then you go on the curve, which means you're trying to just get that nice lean away from the bar so you can get the plant and have a somersault over the bar. Uh, so it's pretty similar, but also different, yeah. 
Thanks. Well, let's talk about your teammates uh, just at the end here as well. I mean, you've got a stacked group of jumpers. Yes, we do. You're part of a, a group known as the Manitoba Flight Project, which yes. is the goal of which is to bring awareness to the strength of the jumping community here uh, at Manitoba. So that includes yourself. It includes uh, Al Haji Mansre in his fifth season. Uh, also includes Siddiqui So uh, as well. Uh, those are just a few of the names of, of jumpers that are prominent on this team. Yeah. Talk to me about just uh, the relationship you have with those guys and, and just how this group has uh, been able to perform this season? Yeah, so the Fly Project is an initiative that kind of started as um, just jumpers. We felt we were really, we felt we felt were good. We felt we were working hard and doing what we were supposed to do, and it, the results were showing. So we just felt we, uh, we had to draw attention to that so other kids and people not as good as us can see what we're doing and, you know, either try to emulate it or try to just aspire to be just as good as we are, uh, and which is something that's been happening. We have a lot of kids because GF, my, myself and Jeff are coaches as well, and, you know, kids are always aspiring to be part of the Fly Project. They keep asking about it, and it's, it's kind of nice to uh, have that. Um, yeah, so this season, me, Elaji, Elaji's uh, already at the U Sports Center in high jump. He's ranked, I think, third in the country right now for high jump. So, I was an athlete. He's great. You know, he puts in the work. He's a lot of injuries in the past few years, but, you know, he's bouncing back and working through it. And Siddiqui as well. Siddiqui's also ranked as, I think, 11th right now in the country, uh, which, is, which isn't bad, which is pretty good, which means he will be in U Sports as well. So, Sid is as, in, as great a season, but he's working through it and he's had injuries as well, too. So, this year, we've all, we're all where we're supposed to be in a way but there's obviously a little bit more that we can also do and uh, we're getting ready and like we feel really healthy right now for Canada West and U Sports coming up uh, so we're thinking you know everything's going to come together just trust the process is going to come together and we're going to you know do all well nationals this year should be. Nationals of course being hosted here at the yeah. University of Manitoba looking forward to seeing yourself and a number of your teammates competing for the Bisons uh, and just hoping to uh, yeah finish as strong as possible and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time. So much. Appreciate it.